Good morning adventurers. We're in the north of France today in Normandy and we're heading to a town called uh, Le Havre? I think. Le Havre, I don't know I how you pronounce it quite, but it's on the coast and it was actually destroyed back in the war and they say that they rebuilt it all but in concrete. So it was in like communist style or yeah, something like that. Yeah, communist style, so it's all concrete. So it should be interesting to see. And then we're gonna go up the coast a little bit. There's some cliffs there. There's some white cliffs. They looked um, amazing online. Yeah, so I think they're gonna be sweet. sweet. And we're gonna try to take the drone around. So we'll see how that goes. Stick around. This is gonna be a good one. We found the ocean, y'all. There she blows. That's actually the English Channel over there. We thought that was England for a second right there, but it's not. We can see England over here, though. I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera. That little line out there is England. It's very foggy today. We found ourselves a charming little restaurant in this town. It's literally like walking into someone's house. Check this out. This place is really neat. The guy just came out with a menu written on a chalkboard and just read it all off to us and we ordered with him. It's a really interesting experience. We weren't really expecting yeah, it. <laughs> we're finally doing, they have a lot of the set menus. Um, yeah, like the formule. Yeah, formule. So we get like a little appetizer and a drink and a main. And it's like a course, like a course kind yeah. of meal. has arrived and it looks amazing as expected. Allison and Matt got the quiche. I'm not really sure what's in there. Carrots, maybe. there's meat and carrots? Yeah. yeah. And then I got some kind of fish tapa, tapas. I'm not sure. And a salad. <laughs> Whoa. How them fish balls? That is amazing. Yeah. Guys, I just tried this quiche too. It is awesome. Knocked me flat. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good, huh? Thanks. Yeah, we'll definitely link to this little place down below because you guys should come and try it. The place turned out to be really cool. Best quiche that we've ever had, we've all agreed. So, that thing knocked my socks 100%. off. Oopsie. So now we're gonna drive down through the city. We're kind of on the outskirts because we were looking up pictures at, while we were eating and apparently the entire city center was just absolutely decimated um, during the like war. A, it looked like a sand beach. Yeah. Yeah. With just rubble. It was nuts. But so they, they redid it, as we were saying earlier, with the they had like um I think it was like an, a Belgian architect come in and that's why it's all concrete now, but we're gonna go look at it before we head up north, I think. So all of these buildings around here were built after World War II after the entire place was completely leveled. So everything's real like concrete and really like, a, I don't know what you would call this kind of architecture, but it's definitely pretty like yeah. cold and dreary. We just found some random organic food store because this girl is dying to get some kombucha. And they've got it right there. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> this girl really likes her kombucha. <laughs> I love it. This town is super charming, guys. This is a lot like some of the towns we were exploring in northern England, I think. We've arrived at the cliffs, but sadly, it's really foggy and kind of wet and windy in the air, so I'm probably not going to be able to fly the drone. But we're planning on flying it uh, in some other cool spots this week, so stay tuned. We have some really cool drone shots in store, assuming the weather clears up a bit. It's supposed to. But this place is absolutely beautiful. Check out this cliff over here. <laughs> it's amazing.
this girl does not have the proper shoes for this kind of terrain. I had no idea that this was what the beach was going to be like. I was expecting sand. This is like the surface of a different planet or something. It's really smooth. Oh yeah, it is. The whole beach is lined with these like caves that go in pretty far. <laughs> you can almost get all the way to the edge of it. This is my new home, guys. This is where I'm living from now on. Look what I got for you. He's throwing seaweed at me. I went hunting. This is my home. Get out of my home. <laughs> this is pretty sweet. This is where I live. Well, I'm probably going to kill you and take it. I'm all wet home. now, though. All right, that's about enough. <sighs> There's like a single crack line that goes through all of this. Whoop. Kind of a scary spot because like the tide rises kind of quickly. Yeah, like, it comes I, in before you even I've know it. I've been standing in certain areas and like all of a sudden like I had to almost run out because like the tide almost just rises in. This we found the most amazing spot, you guys. Check this out. It's like hidden, hidden by this whole rock here, so you got to sneak around there. And there's also some kind of weird structure in the cave over here. You gotta go check that out. This is awesome. Man, keep your eye on that tide. Dude, I'm really scared because if the tide comes in, we're completely stuck over here. Oh, careful, you're really oh, in the water. Oh shit, I am in the water. Whoa. Holy cow, this is, whoa. Dude, this is a proper cave. Okay, well that was really cool, but we're kind of afraid that we're gonna get stuck over here because the tide keeps, keeps like rapidly rising. It was like this deep right there. Really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> We better get out of here. That was really cool though. It kind of just ended right in there. It was full of rocks, but that's really sweet. So there's like a whole structure that was out here that's like ruins now. Check it out. Oh yeah, look at this. That's crazy. Matt just stepped in this pool of water here. His entire leg is soaked now. <laughs> yeah, you got in it properly, dude. That sucks. <laughs> now the goal is to hike along this ridge and get to the top of that bad boy. Check this out, you guys. This scene right here is this exact scene right here. And this was a photo from 1942 when it was all fortified with all this stuff from the Germans. That's insane. We found a small break in the wind, but I gotta tell you guys, the wind is so strong up there, you can't even walk. Yeah. We were trying to walk down these stairs, it was almost blowing us over the side. I'm not even joking. I don't know if I've ever felt wind quite that strong. That was insane. But anyways, we found this little hole in the cave. We're gonna go explore it. Oh shit, ah! Are you okay? Is that your ankle? <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> good thing you didn't go, Oops. oh shit! Ah. I fell. <laughs> oh man. But that could have been worse. <laughs> Thank goodness for ankle, or wrist straps for cameras. Dude. That scared the shit out of me. Oh no. <laughs> good thing. Good I was thing. literally just kind of peering over the edge here and then I slipped. I thought I was going over. <laughs> oh no, don't die, you're not loud. All right, onward. <laughs> handle any more of this wind I think we're gonna I think we're gonna head down <laughs> that ended up being really amazing the views from up there were insane even though it was too windy to, to talk or even like stand up there for very long but we've been spending a lot of time just chilling down here looking at all the pictures from from like the 40s of all those bunker systems they're all still there today some of it so you can look at it and kind of compare it to the photos it's really cool we really want to go inside because we think that there's like a whole cave system that connects like this bunker here to that one we were exploring down there but it's all closed off, so there's no way inside. You're gonna wanna get this angle. Whoa, very nice. <laughs> we are back 
at our little Airbnb. We've been just working, hanging out most of the night. I hope you guys enjoyed exploring the cliffs with us today. We had an absolute blast. It was awesome. Yeah. The only the only sad part is that I couldn't fly the drone. That, okay, that was really sad. But we're hoping um, we're supposed to have some better weather later in the week, and we are going to go explore all of the beaches that um, were stormed during World War II. It's yeah. just going to be it's going to be a lot of history lessons, I think, for yeah. us, and hopefully we'll pass sweet. them on to you guys. But I think we're going to chill, watch a little Netflix, and call it a night. Yeah. Good night, adventurers. We'll see you on the road.